All right, welcome to video number two. That's going to talk about Newton Alta, which is what we are going to use to do our homework, quizzes, and exams. Um, if you have not watched the other video first, please pause this, go back to the other one, watch that first, then come to this one. Okay, so as I mentioned in the first video, everything that has a number in front of it is a homework assignment. Now our homework assignments are going to come in two ways. Um, one is the adaptive flow and one is a static assignment and I'm going to show you both of them. Um, we're going to talk about these again in the live session but because some of you are going to want to hit the ground running as soon as you can I want you to know how to do all of this. Okay so the first time you click into this piece um, you're going to be met with a thing at the top that says purchase. Okay, so when you hit that purchase, you are going to have uh, bring bring this up and I've already done this because I had I did a practice run, um, but you will see underneath here it will say 14 day courtesy access um, or select plan right and that's for the access code or the $20. Now the cheapest way to do this is to pay $20 straight through this site right here. If you go to the bookstore for an access code, it's going to run you more, I think, like $40 to $45. Um, so the easiest way is to do it right here. One-time purchase for $20. Bucks. That's all your homework, all your quizzes, all your exams right there. Now, again, you have, I, I clicked the 14-day courtesy access. So you do have two weeks um, to kind of to figure that out if you don't have the $20 today. Okay, and if you have more questions with that, please let me know. But um, after you do that, so I'm going to, once you click what you're going to do, it's going to let you in. So then, um, and, and you'll just, it'll just automatically let you in. I've, again, played with some things. But when you go into your assignment, you're going to notice that at the bottom, you have all of the objectives that are in this. So this is an adaptive learning assignment, which means if you really know what you're talking about, this is a topic that you've used before. It's pretty you know, solid in your mind, your homework assignment's probably going to take you less time and you're going to see less questions. If you haven't been in school for a while, maybe math isn't your thing and you struggle a little bit, totally fine. Your assignment might be a little bit longer because it might just take you longer to grasp the topics. So the adaptive assignments give you a personalized learning path so that it works best for you, so that you have the best opportunity to be successful in this course. We know not everybody learns the same, so we're not going to give you the same five questions. Everybody's going to have their own individualized path to get them through the material so that you have the best chance of success in this Math 123 course. So you can click on these little pieces of paper if you want to see instruction before you start. But if you've watched the videos and done the workbook, you've kind of already done that piece a little bit. Okay, and then we're going to have, usually there's a start button. Again, I did a run through. So I'm going to hit keep going for that start. It's going to tell you what you're working on at the top, and you're going to see a math question of a type. So we're going to type in an answer. I'm just going to type whatever I want. You're going to see at the bottom a more instruction button. At any point in time, if you're like, I don't know what this is talking about, more instruction is going to give you like a piece of a textbook or a help video on the topic. It's not question specific, it's topic specific, okay? But you can click that at any point in time. There's no penalty for that. This is a learning platform, okay? And then we click uh, submit. Now, free response question, I have two tries. Um, I got them both wrong. It's going to tell you what the answer is and it's going to tell you why. So it's going to kind of walk you through the process and then hit continue. All of your homework is kind of a just, I call it next man up. It's a learning process and it's right inside of Ivy Learn. So the goal, you'll see this mastery bar at the top. The goal is 100% mastery, right? That, that's our goal, always 100%. I mean, that, that's a goal. You can stop at any point in time and come back later. You still have access to all of the Ivy Learn buttons on the left. Um, but as long as you're sitting and working, it's just the next thing is going to come up in the path. And again, we'll dig more into this and how it works and why we're doing this in our live session on Tuesday. Um, but at any point in time, uh, you can say, okay, I, I need a break. I'm going to email Becky because I'm not really sure what's going on. That's why I'm here. Um, and then you can just jump right back into the modules. Okay, so that's, that's an example of an adaptive assignment where it adapts to your... Uh, 
your abilities, I guess, at this at this moment in time. So if you're really, really good on that topic right now, it'll go quicker than if you're struggling on that topic right now. Hey, and we're all here to learn, right? That is our goal. I am here to help you. Okay, so that was uh, type one, the adaptive assignments. And then um, we have, where's assignment three? Oh, there, those are out of order. I'll fix that. Um, this is what we would call a static assignment. So our workbook, as you may, might see, has some very specific terminology, some very specific applications that we also want to practice. So I've built some of these static assignments to fit more closely with the workbook and the same terminology and that kind of thing. So you'll can, you can see these assignments, you have four attempts. Um, because again, this is a learning piece. I, it's not one and done. You can do it the first time. If you don't get them all right, figure out what you did wrong, you can try it again up to four times. Your best score is kept, okay? Now, you can see you've got best score of four. You, have, you see a due date, all of that fun stuff, and you can hit start. Just to show you how this looks a little different than the adaptive piece. So you can see that it's just questions, right? We don't have, we don't have that... Um, answer explanation built in. We don't have that two tries at a time. We don't have that adaptive flow. It's just a set number of questions. In this case, there are three. So, I mean, it's not a huge assignment. And that's, again, when we talked about that first video, where I talked about Hell Week. Some of these assignments only literally have three questions, right? So don't overanalyze and freak out when you're looking at this because some of them are going to take you five minutes. Some might take you a little bit longer. It just kind of depends. Okay, so a little bit every day kind of will get you there. Now, this is really what your quizzes are going to look like as well. The only difference is that your quizzes, you only have two tries and they are timed. That's kind of an, uh, an Ivy Tech thing. Um, your, and your, ex your exams. Your exams are also going to look very much like this. We will talk about exams when we get closer to that. Um, the exams are the only thing that are password protected. Homework quizzes, projects, all of that. You can get into all of that right now. Um, so you can work ahead if you want, is what I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, so that's kind of what I wanted to talk about just in terms of, of Alta. Newton Alta is the platform that we're using. Um, if you have any questions on that, let me know. But again, we are going to talk more in depth about all of this in the live class next Tuesday, the 19th at 530 um, so please make sure you're there because that will really, I think, be beneficial uh, for everybody. So again, I'm Becky. Thanks for joining me and uh, look forward to a good eight weeks. Thanks, guys.